Okay, this how to video is going to talk about how to transfer properties, pin swaps, gate swaps, etc., from uh, the Cadence PCB tools back to WCAG Capture and Capture CIS, and vice versa. So, I've got a couple of examples here. Um, the first example is I've got a resistor network. Um, that what I want to do is I want to just do some pin swaps or some gate swaps effectively uh, to swap between this resistor network pack just to stop some crossovers. And the way we would do this is I, um, from within uh, the Cadence PCB tools is I can use place swap. And then if I did a pin swap effectively and choose this, I would have to effectively swap across the resistor. So that's not really what I want to do. So I'm going to do a place swap function. Um, and I'm going to pick effectively this resistor and I'm going to swap it with this resistor and then do a right click next. And you can see effectively the resistor swap gets made. So once I've done that, what I can then do is go to uh, Orca Capture CIS, run the design sync, and then I'm just going to swap this round from layout to schematic. And you can see there's a list of the swap that's going to be made. So I just click on sync. And that then brings in uh, the swaps. I've got a different report for the constraints. Um, so we'll just close that off. And you can see effectively it made the pin swaps on the, uh, the resistor network. If we go back to the board, um, what we'll do now, let's do. Um, Let's try a renumber. So if we go to manufacture, auto rename ref, there's rename. So what I want to do here is I want to effectively rename the board um, so that we go from top left. Instead of it being U40, I want U1 going across a bit more logically. Better for the assembler to, to have the uh, reference designators in a, a more structured way. So I'm just going to rename all the components. If we then click on the setup button, I can then choose how I want this to do. So I want effectively both top and bottom to be done. Start on the top use the component body center. These are all kind of the default options for kind of the directions for top layer and directions for the bottom layer. Um, I don't want an identifier, so I don't want a, a, a top or bottom layer identifier. I just leave the reference designators as they are. So we'll do a preserve ref reference designator. Um, so we'll leave all that as it is. We'll close and then I'll just click on rename. And you can see FX3 R1, R2, R3, R4. So it's done all the renumbers for me. We can then click OK. If we then go to the design sync again and run design sync from capture or PCB editor to capture. So again, we'll swap this round. So we'll go from layout to schematic and you can see all the reference designators changing here. We can then run the sync command. That would effectively rename all the components. So if I go to look at maybe the memory page where you saw those uh, ICs, just zoom in here. My reference designators all need to change the color, so let's just go and do that quickly. So, uh, part reference if we just change that to be black, so you can see that on the white background. So, that's been renumbered to U1, U2, you can see the renumbering being done. So, full integration, forward and back annotation, or forward and backward uh, design sync between the Cadence PCB tools and all capture and capture CIS.